time. In someone's second year of life, we often say, oh no, the terrible twos. But in this next group, they're anything but terrible. As a matter of fact, you could probably say they're the terrific twos. Recently, four fields of two-year-olds went behind the gate in the rich Delaware Standard Bread Breeders' Fun Finals. First, we'll check out the Trotters. And in the ladies' division, it was No More Games, winning her big final. Driven by Corey Callahan, the freshman took the lead before the half-mile pole and crossed the wire first in 159 and 1. Owned and bred by Kathleen Keebler and trained by Irv Miller, the daughter of CR Commando has won three of her five starts in her debut season. I was unable to be at Dover on this evening, so everybody's favorite camera guy, Robert Faust, took over the reins, so to speak, and did some interviews in my place. Can you describe for me how this race unfolded for you? What were you seeing in the, in the stands? Well, <laughs> I was a little nervous when he pulled her that quick, but it all turned out great. Now, is this the outcome you were expecting? Yes, I was hoping, but you never know in a horse race until it's over with, that's for sure. Now, these were all two-year-olds that were competing. Um, when did you get this horse? I raised, I bred the mare in, at Ocala, Florida, at Rod Allen's stable and uh, then we fold her in Illinois and I've had her ever since and then I raised her up and and, ra and trained her and I never started her I never raced her but I just trained her down. So you had high hopes and uh, big expectations right from the beginning? Well the way she was gated and everything yes I did. We said we said my husband and I said she was the best thing we ever had. <laughs> in the hundred thousand dollar cult final for high steppers Ruby Ransom got up in the final stride to win in 159 and 4 by a neck with Brandon Givens in the bike. The son of CR Commando is owned by Ed Mass and Nanacoke Racing Incorporated and trained by Brandon's dad, Les. Tell us how the race unfolded for you. Uh, good luck to Brass, made a break going to the quarter pole. Uh, my Uncle Wayne's horse, uh, Blaker Mill, or Baker Mill Blake ended up having the front and I just followed him around there and going down the stretch he got a little little tired and got a little steppy and made a break and my horse just went right on by to win it. So uh, your dad uh, Les is the owner and the trainer of this horse how does that uh, relationship work out for you? Uh, well my dad trains a lot of horses and I drive a lot for him but uh, this particular horse uh, he has another partner Eddie Mass um, he's one of the good owners that we got uh, they both own them together and bought them at the win-back sale and done very good with them since uh, we've had him. And uh, what can you tell us about this horse? Uh, big things to come? Yeah, I think he's got a bright future ahead of him. Uh, uh, like I said, I mean, now as a two-year-old, he's tried at 59. Um, and on a windy night like the night, I mean, it was a pretty good mile out there. It was probably like a 58 mile on a regular night. But uh, three-year-old year, hopefully he's just as good as he is his two-year-old year. Now on to the Pacers and let's check out the ladies first in this DSBF event. Tom's Toy, with Corey Callahan in control, sat second for the whole mile until the home stretch. Then Corey made his move with the daughter of Powerful Toy to score a lifetime best 154-4 conquest. She's trained by Roger Hands and owned and bred by Tom Cook. And I was there for the Pacers on this evening, so Let's talk with Tom now. Okay, Tom, I'm assuming that the filly is named for you, Tom's Toy. So tell me about her, because you know a lot about her, right? Actually named by Richard Hands, but yes, named uh, named in my honor. Uh, very nice. And as I was just telling Marv, you know, when it came to breeding for that season, we had three fillies we wanted to bring to Delaware with certainty. Uh, did two bookings, while well, these people will just get called later. Uh -huh. No, that's good, that's good. We Everybody had, uh, gets put on hold for post time. We're going to be on hold right now. We uh, <laughs> had uh, two breedings to Badlands and one to Powerful Toy, and I thought this was a good breeding with Powerful Toy. Yes, yes. Now tell me about, do you, like, her personality? Do you know about how she trained down? Uh, easy temperament. She actually was a little sick in the finals over at Harrington. We thought she had prepped for the finals there real well, uh, gave her some time off, came back. First race here was awesome. Last week was devastating. When I looked at the board tonight, not that I follow it, 
But when it said six to one, I said to myself, what am I missing? What did I see that they haven't seen? But uh, right. she proved herself. She got a perfect trip. She was right behind the horse she should be behind. I'm glad we didn't have to cut it. And she just had enough with the wire with the eight flying on the outside. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And she's on vacation now? She now gets rest until we'll see you back in the spring. Wonderful. Okay, thanks, thanks so much. Thanks so much, Thank yeah. In the $100,000 DSPF Colton Gelding final, it was Sergeant Charlie who came out the victor in 155 and 2 with driver Ron Pierce. Trained by Eli Scott, this freshman is the son of Badlands Hanover and is out of the former top race mayor, Baroque Bogart. Sergeant Charlie's owned and bred by Jeff Bartels. And we're going to learn more about this impressive two-year-old now. Okay, the first thing that we're going to say is Jeff is not doing this interview by himself. <laughs> uh, so we've met before too, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, so you're the better half, is yes. that safe Absolutely. to say? My Absolutely. wife Nancy, but you all know we're down here in the paddock as Carrot Lady. Oh, okay. <laughs> every horse that we race against gets the same amount of carriage as our horse gets every race. So they know her down there is carrot lady. <laughs> wow, now that's what you call good karma. Especially with Christmas around the corner. There Man, that's go. really the giving spirit. Uh, now tell me about this horse because I know that you bred her yeah. Baroque Bogart. You raced her, didn't you? Baroque Bogart was the first one we bought in 98 and she was a real tough race mare. I raced in the Phillies and Mares Open every week. Had a real good career. Got hurt on the racetrack in a real bad accident. Uh, we brought her back, but she wasn't at the same level, so uh, we decided to go with breeding with her, and uh, here we are. Now, where does Sergeant Charlie come in, the name? Well, my father was a staff sergeant in World War II, and he passed away just before this horse was born. Oh, wow, so you named it in his honor. Yeah. That's so wonderful. Oh, that's great. Uh, anything else you can tell me about Sergeant Charlie? Uh, he's mean. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> he, uh, he bites, he kicks. Uh, he'll be over at my place starting tomorrow on break, and uh, if I'm here in a week without uh, yeah. stitches We're and bruises, we'll be all right. <laughs> he's as tough, he's as tough. <laughs> You know, around the, the farm as he is out there on the racetrack. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like you got a good woman that'll take care of you, just in case you do come in with any broken bones after uh, dealing with them. So, well, congratulations <laughs> to both you. of you. Thank you.